Hey guys, a very good morning from Hyderabad. This is Harmesh. Welcome back to my channel. Uh, so you guys must have seen my earlier video of the unboxing of my BenQ TS585. So it just arrived yesterday in the evening. But I have not yet uh, set that up because I need to first set up my uh, my Amazon device because it will be really difficult for me to set it up on the projector. So I'll set it up on my TV first, and then I'll I'll just move that to the projector. So I just wanted to make a separate video of the unboxing of the of the Fire TV stick because that's a really important device for Amazon in the market right now because if you can see just behind me this is a samsung 55 hq led tv it's a super smart tv it is even curved so i think i think this is this is one of, one of the finest uh, tvs that you can buy in the market at that time now we don't get curved and all but but it still has its own flaws and those are big flaws you know so it, it is a smart tv it has all the apps built in but they are all super buggy they don't get very frequent updates and to be really frank uh, disney plus hotstar is one of the biggest apps in india with the highest number of subscribers and that app is still a very old version on it and it still starts i cannot switch on subtitles i cannot i cannot make sure what quality i can watch in it and and if i'm pausing a video it gets stuck i need to exit the app and come back and so it is super buggy and also if you can see right the tv has its own processing power and that is being shared by the apps as well uh, so that is not such an efficient way of watching and you have a device like the amazon fire tv stick i think it has its own processing power it has its own apps it, 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 it even supports third party apps it will be sorted out for everything of your uh, uh, needs and also it has alexa also i think i think it will sort out all your smart needs so that is that is really very important so if you guys are buying a tv which is smart and which is specifically android i think you should you should be sorted out no issues with anything but anyway this will perform way better than your smart tv if it is not an android tv or any anything else probably you go and buy this it will cost you around 2000 to 3000 rupees but it will be the best experience ever and also there are many other third party companies from china or probably even in india right from other countries you can find this uh, this android box or something right but make sure that you are buying something like an amazon uh, because other android boxes are not officially authorized from google android is basically a free open source system you can you can get that you can install it but but all the apps that you get within it they they might not be compatible with your android because you need to be officially licensed to use those and amazon has official and is is, is official you know you can you can you can go and directly uh, download those apps so that's a big bummer from other uh, android tv sticks um, not all of them support all the apps there are apps there are many boxes that have netflix and disney plus hotstar that that you have to do some jugad and use them and you also you only get a 480p of resolution you don't even get a full hd resolution and that sucks right so there's no point in buying such a tv stick wherein you are just you are you are not using its full potential so go for a branded one and uh, use it so here is the device itself so here is the device itself so here is the device itself this is the fire tv stick uh, the box and so i'll just i'll just open this in a minute Uh, so this uh, this Amazon TV stick, no matter which version you buy, it runs on Fire OS. So what is Fire OS? So Fire OS is nothing but a fork of Android. So what is a fork? So you don't need to get in all those details. But basically, it is an Android. So what they did is they have they have taken Android from Google. They have customized it, it according to their needs, and they have put it in this device. So basically, it is an Android device, and you can install all your Android Android apps in this. and this is officially licensed from google so you won't be having any issues with any apps and you'll be having very frequent updates on all your apps for years to come there's for no doubt in that so that is about it but before you go into this right i would like to show their i would like to show their marketing pamphlet first so this is this is a fire tv stick marketing pamphlet that they generally give which is stream on your big screen right and and if you can see it closely so this is what it says right it is very simple to use you have an alexa built in and this is the most important table that you can see so we have this three versions right now there's fire tv stick lite fire tv stick and then the fire tv stick 4k right so the tv stick lite is something that it it, it is extremely cheap uh, it, it is it is something that you get very cheap but you don't get any tv volume controls in the remote so you have to have multiple remotes for a tv and your fire stick as well so that's the only difference you can find between fire tv stick lite and fire tv stick the remote is more 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 uh, more detailed in the fire tv stick that i have right now and if you can see it it supports up to 1080p full hd with hdr hdr 10 plus and hld so basically this is a full hd device right and and it can play anything up to full hd so that is something that probably most of you can 
uh, start using uh, on the box, right? Every every other device in the market uses 10H0P. And and also the plus point of this is it supports HDR, HDR10 plus and HLG. So this is something really great because HDR content is on the grow. Uh, and if you have an HDR supported device, I think this device can make it more uh, lively. And coming to the 4K, right? It supports 4K. 4K Ultra, Ultra HDR and rest all uh, HDR. Really frank, 4K is not something that I really like on streaming because I do have a lot of Blu-ray uh, Blu DVDs with me uh, stacked over here, they're all 4K and their quality is super crisp man. You just, you can see the real quality in them but when you see it on streaming, you don't see that kind of quality because it is super compressed, right? So generally for a 4K movie, one and a half hour movie, it takes around 60 GB of data for uh, in, in the Blu-ray DVD and more than that also probably even 100 GB if you are trying like you're going to 3 hours or so but when you are streaming that is compression I don't see that kind of quality that you get on a Blu-ray but it, it is definitely better than Full HD no doubt but even Full HD looks very crisp on any TV or any other device so there is a logic if you can understand right if you are sitting very close to the TV then the 4K really makes sense because you can see each and every pixel but if you are sitting at a distance that is at least 6 feet or 8 feet far from the TV or, or at least 5, 5 to 8 feet far from the TV 4K or Full HD doesn't matter right uh, depending on the size of the screen even even so there are a lot of parameters for that but I think Full HD is something that still it is a great, uh, a great viewing experience and that is something that I really want to invest in because 4K if you really have a Blu-ray that I think that that will give you the best content uh, no matter what. Streaming, not much. And also, depending on your bandwidth, uh, 4K might might not be always be switched on spe specifically, specifically in India. Uh, it Depending on your bandwidth, because your bandwidth sometimes goes up and high and, and your quality keeps on increasing, decreasing and all. Even though you're playing 4K, most of the times it'll play in full HD itself. So, or, uh, or 2K, you know, you never know what happens. So, that is what it is. So, I am okay with an full HD and I'm, I always advocate about full HD only not more than 4k so i'm okay with that and also 4k is expensive it is close to 6000 rupees and i don't think that is that much worth to be really frank because uh, how much of content do you have in 4k even in netflix you have a separate section saying that this is specifically for 4k right that is something. okay let's go ahead and unbox the device okay so this is the box itself an amazon fire tv stick you can just see what are the apps they are basically promoting so these are the major apps that have used in in the Indian subcontinent mostly this is the remote the device itself and the back of it and the back of it and you can see the price of it is written as 4999 inclusive taxes and probably you can get a little bit less uh, so let's unbox this I think I've done a lot of talking today but again that is something that I wanted to share my views on okay, so I'm just peeled off the seal Perfect. Okay, the first thing that comes out is the remote itself, and you can see it is a full fledged remote. You have dedicated keys for Prime Video and Netflix. You can directly go to the apps, the music, you know, and this you can also use it with the TV, right? Uh, you, you get two batteries in the box, outside the box, basically, and this is the whole package. And this is your favorite Amazon smile. <laughs> All right. And this is the device. Amazon device for best performance. Use the included power adapter and USB cable. Okay. All right. Done. Let's keep it aside for a minute. This is a charging cable for it. So you can just uh, uh, start using it. So it's not, it's not a charging cable basically. You don't have a battery within it or something. But you have to keep this plugged in when you're using it. Right, I'll just keep this aside. Let's see what all we have. So this is an this is an HD, HDMI extender. All right. So if you think your uh, your TV or any place that is super crammed, you can just plug this in and plug your uh, device over here. And that's about it, guys. And I think you have a small, super cute manual that says hello, hi. And then you have this. But basically, I don't need this stuff. Uh, I have never read a manual in my life. So that's about it guys. So so this is this is the whole thing. This is the device. So what I'll do is I'll just set this. I'll start setting this up and I'll record that as well. And I'll show you how, how I set this up. Alright. Okay, so I've plugged in the device. I'm switching on my television. So hopefully it should be directed. So I have just 
plugged in my uh, batteries in this as well and let me go to the source i think we need to switch this on right so i don't know for some reason it was saying showing us chromecast because i think earlier a google chromecast was on that uh, on that port so it was showing us google chromecast but again this is a fire tv stick okay so let us press the play to start i'm selecting my country as english Okay, I'll just say continue without the USB adapter for now. Okay, so finally, I think I've entered my Wi-Fi password, um, and this is up and running. So I think it had a couple of updates. It took around 15-20 minutes to update the to the latest OS. and i'm not interested for parental controls because i don't have any elder kids with me right now but i think if you have kids that uh, they they know who who to operate that how to operate the tv and all so probably you can they're good to enable the parental control <coughs> wow so this has also synced with my this tv the remote is also synced with it so it's awesome So I'm just selecting what apps I need. Probably I just need a few of the things that I generally watch. Uh, I might not need all of them right now, immediately. But uh, okay, so I think this is enough for now for the demo. Probably I can uh, finish it later on, right? I'll just do a finish. You can even see how much of data you are. using you can see what are the video quality you want to set so i i always want the best video quality all right so that's a really huge number 600 gb and generally doesn't go that high perfect so i think the setup is done i can just go ahead right so i think i think we are all good uh, okay so it is all superb so the one best thing that i like about this is the remote you know it is so nice to handle man it is super super nice to handle uh it is it is it is very very the buttons are very clicky it's very nice the response is good even my samsung tvs it is this tv cost me around 3 to 4 lakh rupees back then and even the remote is shit i need to really press it hard to make sure that it it works and all but this is really nice so that is something that i really look in a device that that uh, the remote should be really good and that is what it is and also the one more thing is one more plus point with the amazon fire tv series, you can carry this wherever you want nowadays uh, you have uh, the signal ev everywhere across india you can just take take this in your pocket you know travel with it have uh, enable your data and then start watching it on the go right uh, so that's for it guys so so this is about the video guys so hope you guys liked it if you if you really thought that uh, this was a value add uh please do like share and subscribe this would really motivate motivate me to do a lot more uh content of this sort uh, so let me know if you have any doubts in the comments probably i can answer until that time this is armesh signing off bye bye